Okay, here we go. This is the new specialized uh, LA Sprint, the world's first alloy superbike. I'm just gonna give my first impressions. I haven't ridden this bike yet. Um, I'm sure that I'm sure it's gonna be a very stiff frame. What I like to see first up, this girl. Oh, hang on, is she wearing gloves? Oh, she's not wearing gloves. So this, this specialized in you know, the, the market. They're going for the edgy, you know, vibe. The, they've got a, a female rider here on the front. And uh, she's got no gloves. She's riding, looks like, on a street here. Two female riders. And uh, in the dark kit, you know, dark kit. Like, <laughs> a dark kit. It looks to be at night time. There's no lights on the bike. There's no reflectors. But I don't use reflectors on my road bike. But I do run lights if it's dark out. And I try and run something that's pretty visible. Neon, white helmets are decent. But no gloves, you know, and dark kit. Like what, what? What sort of? You know, what are we trying to teach people? These people who are going to buy this bike are relatively new cyclists. An experienced rider like me isn't going to buy a road disc bike, let alone the LA Sprint. Well, the old ones are pretty good, the rim brake, but the disc brake man is going to ride so it's going to ride so muted. Let's learn more on this one. So specialized. I'd like you guys and girls to hype up neon kit, visible kit, man. What's of this dark clothing? trend it's great on the track it's great in the nightclub but if you're on the street look at this this guy here look at, look at how dark this kit is man you can't how can you gonna see this dude on the road man you know what I mean? he looks like one of the williams brothers i think so i mean egos are big but you can't you can't see someone's big ego from a car you want to see some big neon jersey i want to see these guys I think this is one of the Williams brothers. I think it is. Like, let, come on, guys. Let's represent safety. Gloves, man. All right? Gloves. Some people respect their hands. If you respect your hands, glove them up. And if you respect your safety, if you don't like hospital food, then wear some visible kit. Wear some visible kit, people. All right, let's get into the bike. All right, so that's the safety announcement. The PSA. Look at this hookless. Uh, these look like hookless rims, man. Hookless rims. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the paint job looks pretty cool. That's a cool paint job. I like that. The little crown down there. Yeah, it's just that's that looks cool. You know, it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, you know, paint job looks good. Here we go. Do right of the right of the back wearing white. All right, white's a minimum, man. All right, white's a minimum. I do, and you're teaching something new. You're being all safety officer. You sound like my mum. You sound like my dad. Like man, I'm gonna keep you out of hospital, dude. I'm just here to help. All right, so carbon copy. We took every innovation and insight learned from developing the Tarmac SL7. Oh my god. Really? And we built it from alloy. Well, that's probably going to make it stiffer. And it looks like it doesn't have that stupid papaya. T oh, it does. Is it got the same fork? Oh my god. Whether well, chasing a national title or attacking your buddy is 15 minutes into an easy Sunday spin, we won't be offended if you mistake the LA for an SL7 Tarmac. Some may call it a carbon copy. We call it the world's first alloy bike. So it's an alloy version of the SL7. Oh, man. If we learned anything, you know. It looks cool. The color's nice, though. You know, but what's this disc brake? Oh, my God. All right. Um, let's get into it. The BB BSA bottom bracket. We like that. We like that. This is, this is going to be stiffer. I'll tell you what. As an owner of the SL7 S-Works, this is this LA is going to be stiffer. It just, I mean, it's not which is not hard to do. It's not hard to make a bike stiffer than SL7. S works. Uh, so yeah, BSA bottom bracket. We like that. Look, see, look at this. this is a great. Like a bit, a bit more visibility here. A bit more visibility. We like to see that. You know, we like to see that. Uh, the whites. Uh, what else have we got here? Smart world. I, mean, I just see the disc brake mounts. I think this bike's going to be so sluggish, man so sluggish you know the bike is justin williams megaphone the weapon of his disruption follow his team to eliminate eliminate boundaries and promote diversity representation and, inc and in inclusion the william brothers are inclusion inclusive are they really <laughs> i've got a few people who might disagree with that drinking water here by the way not coffee in a coffee mug. water in a coffee mug who does that the William brothers represent inclusion. Really? 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 <laughs> really? Inclusion, these guys. Okay, interesting. 
Um, that's that's cool. That was cool. That was cool. But yeah, those worlds, you know, I think there's an ace. Is that an asymmetric seat stone? Because those worlds are definitely asymmetric. Not that that's really going to matter too much. Um, all right, so we've got the frame sets here. So this is so this is if you want a road disc brake bike, if you want to, if you're looking at an SL7 S works and you want something stiffer, then get get this, get this. That's a cool color. Yeah, that's that's, I like, that's not too bad. Yeah, I like, that's not right. Yeah, sort of like the Sagan 2016 colorway for the SL6, which was a great bike. The SL6 was a great bike, wasn't it? But you didn't have a BSA back then. So two thousand four hundred bucks. Damn. An alloy frame set for twenty four hundred. Specialized is doing the well, the marketing. I guess the uh, you know the Williams brothers don't come cheap. Who's going to buy the ten thousand dollar Jordans and stuff? You know, but that's the deal there. What bike would I get? All right, let's be fair to Specialized. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy the SL the this LA thing. I wouldn't buy the Tarmac SL seven. Uh, if you're honest, Athos. No, disc brake, mate. You can need road bikes with disc brakes. You know, if you if you do think you need disc brakes in a road bike, get a Crux, because at least then you can get, take up the gravel with a fat tire. What would I get? All right. Here's a bit more visibility here. But specialized, not wearing gloves. You know, um, disc brakes and road bikes, man. Just for me, it just looks wrong. It just looks wrong. On a gravel bike, yes. All right. Well, this is a specialized Australia performance what have we got have we got have we got any rim brakes at all here in australia shop all let's go here delay do we oh we do have a rim brake bike this is the best bike specialized road bike specialized currently sell and it's the alay elite beautiful color um this is a great bike this is what i would get all right this this is better than the s-works sl7 better than the athos it could be built up lighter than the Athos if you want to spend money on it. It's a fantastic bike. I've ridden one of these. The frames are amply stiff. Easy to work on. BSA bottom bracket, 27.2 posts with an external clamp there. At, you know, a fork, which I think is non-proprietary. But, you know, just a great bike. Compact bars, easy to use stem, external cables for most part of it. You know, just a great bike, man. Like a great road bike. This is what I would buy. If I was going to buy a specialized brand new bike today, um, I would get one of these. If I was going to get a second hand, I'd get something like an S a Tarmac, Vim Brake Tarmac, near new mint condition off a barrister who thinks disc brakes are better. Now, they upgraded. But again, this is my personal opinion based on my, my 25 years of racing and having owned, how many bikes have I owned? How many bikes have I, I, I don't even know how many bikes I own right now. Someone said, how many bikes do you have? I'm like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, this is my thoughts and opinions there. Specialized are killing their performance brand image, in my opinion, in riders like myself. In fact, I liked the Specialized LA Elite so much, I put it in my bike buyer's guide. All right? I put it in my bike buyer's guide. If you haven't got the Duran Rider Lean Body Bible, it's a cycling specific performance weight loss bike buyer's guide it's the best cycling book ever written hands down i've read all the cycling books out there over the last 25 years 30 years actually and you know i've put all the best tips into one cycling ebook so if you want to lose weight if you want to increase your ftp you know have the best bike for the money best bike full stop for less money then I'm going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars if you're performance focused if you're weight loss focused if you want to feel good be faster, your fastest naturally, then this is the ebook for you. And I have the specialized LA Elite rim brake as a go to bike in that one. I constantly update it, meaning you get free updates because obviously there's new stuff coming into the market and there's stuff that's being non existent, like DT Swiss 240 hubs, the brand new ones are crap, the old ones are good. This twin ratchet's good, the single ratchet's junk. So I make amendments in my ebook and I, you get a free. Uh, update okay you get a free update for life generally update every six months to a year on the buyer's guide because products come and go that way you're always getting you know the latest stuff the latest cutting edge advice um but yeah this is uh 
But another thing as well, as I forgot to mention, the LA disc, the new one, appears to have the same fork as the SL7, and hopefully, but it does look like it has, hopefully it doesn't, but it does look like it's got that SL7 freaking, uh, you know, heads, headset situation going on there. You know, the ones that was cutting into the fork and stuff and etching and just, hopefully they've been proved on that, maybe made some, maybe made the split ring out of plastic or something, I don't know, but. It just, yeah, I mean, I just look at that bike and I just, I know the head, the headache is to build them up, the SL7s and the cables and all that, and it's just like, oh my God. What happened to bikes? What's, what is Specialized doing? What is Trek doing? What is, you know, what are these brands doing to the bike industry? They're, they're turning bikes into cars in terms of making it harder for the user to service it, you know, and I mean, it's good for bike shops money-wise, but even bike shop mechanics hate working on these bikes these road disc with the cables going through the the, the road the, the yeah, especially the headset area the probably the, the worst culprit is this the Cervelo s5 you know I mean, changing a headset out in a Cervelo s5 used to be literally a five minute job drop out the fork pay off the stem but there's your bearings now Oh my god, don't get me started. Don't get me started. I literally couldn't work in a bike shop anymore because of Cervelo, because of Specialized, because of Trek and what they've done to their bikes, which were back in the day great to work on and eat great to, to ride. Anyways, that's the deal. If you want the best, if you want to save thousands of dollars, man, and save you time and frustration, get my buyer's guide and get the best for less. Guaranteed.